How's it going Forex traders? My name is Dapolis and guys in this video I want to be sharing with you guys the truth behind the Forex market that a lot of people don't really know about. The truth behind the Forex market and how you can understand what goes on behind the scenes in the Forex market and ultimately make it work for you because at the end of the day if you don't know what exactly is going on behind the scenes, if you're just clueless placing trades, you know following people blindly, how can how exactly do you expect to be profitable? So I I encourage every single one of you who's watching this video to watch this video till the very end you are definitely going to learn something new if you don't watch stop your trading right now this video might single-handedly be the best video you've watched all year once again my name is dapper willis let's jump into the video let's go all right guys so before i kick things off i need you guys to do yourself one little favor and smash the subscribe button right there because why not you want to be subscribed to a channel that comes to tell you the truth about Forex. I'm not trying to say you're not going to make money from Forex. I'm not trying to say Forex is bad, but there are a lot of things that go on behind the scenes that you need to know in order for you to become profitable in this game. This is very, very, but I feel like if you, for me, it was when I understood behind the scenes of what went on in Forex, that's when I, that's exactly when I started to make millions in the Forex market. Now guys, once again, my name is Dapo Willis. Um, and Trust me when I say I've seen it all in the game. I've seen people come and go. I've seen influencers. This is not the first time um, I'm seeing, because right now there's a lot of influencers on YouTube, by the way. This is not the first time I'm seeing influencers around the Forex space. I remember when Instagram just launched, a lot of influencers and stuff like that. So I've seen influencers come and go. I've seen brokers come and go. Our parry has come and gone. Um, so those of you guys wondering, I've been doing this for about 12 years now. I started trading when I was 17. I just turned 29 in April. Um, so give, give or take about 11 and a half to 12 years. I've also seen people go from absolutely nothing to making millions in the game. I've also seen my humble self. I don't really like to talk about myself but that much, but hey, I'm the definition of a Forex trading success story whereby, I mean, I went from a little kid who just finished high school, I was 17 at the time, stumbled on the game, and blase, 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 failed, 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 struggled, struggled, cried, 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 but I still was steadfast to the game, and I've worked myself up to a place whereby I now manage well over $150 million for investors. Yes, it's everywhere on the internet, the information is public. As a matter of fact, I'm going to be reviewing my contract at the end of the year. We might most likely be pushing that to half a billion dollars, so I'm officially going to be one of the most influential forex traders out there managing the land. I don't think there's any forex trader out there who's going to be who has over 150 million dollars yet a billion half a billion dollars asset on the management so yes you have myself who is also a success story as well so there are two sides of the game right and that's exactly what I want to preach to you guys today once again if you haven't already subscribed and sure to subscribe to the channel so First of all, let's look at behind the scenes. What goes on? Don't worry, I'm going to talk about behind the scenes. So, guys, you need to know this information so that when you go into the game, you're knowledgeable, you're equipped. Because a lot of shady stuff goes on behind the game. And I feel like if you understand this, obviously, going forward, you'll be 10 times more profitable. And also, when I'm done talking about the truth behind it, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to go. How did I navigate through this game? Because everybody's, everybody out there is... all selfish people everybody's more you know focused on how they can enrich themselves and stuff like that now the reason i decided to make this video today is because um i've been seeing a lot of things on social media that has i won't say bothered me but i'm just not happy with the way the industry is going now i know most of you guys have your favorite forex influencers you have your favorite mentors and stuff like that now i'm not here to tarnish anybody's image but what I'm going to speak is from my own personal experience when I was coming up, right? So use this as a reference point to where it is you are right now. Like I said, there's nothing new in the Forex game. The influencers, there's nothing new. You know, they, there's not, this, the influencers didn't start today. As a matter of fact, I came into this game um, because obviously somebody introduced me to the market, but I got hooked on Forex because I saw the nice and fast cars on YouTube and stuff like that. So this, this is exactly why I came into the game. And I know that 90% of the, you guys who are watching this came into the game because of this reason. Now, I feel like, uh, I feel like people, or rather, would I say influencers are taking things a bit too far in terms of trying to lure people into the game. Don't get me wrong, I'm not here to bash anybody's mental. I'm not here to, the, for, for the longest time, they have told me not to make a video like this. Anytime I speak to my friends, they tell me, no dabs, don't do this, don't spill the beans, you might crash the industry. 
in, in where I come from in Nigeria, they say no common food from their mouth, you know. But at the end of the day, the essence of this channel is to tell people the truth. I want to share the truth and say say what it is. Now I was scrolling through Instagram and Twitter, and lately I've been seeing a lot of influencers posting crazy redraws from what seems to be live accounts. Now. I wanted to quickly use this opportunity to educate a lot of traders out there. Just because somebody is posting a live account, and the reason why I know this is because I was a victim of this as well when I started. Just because somebody is posting a live account with redrawals doesn't mean the account is live. What's happening now is if you have enough money, you can buy what they call an MT4 license. Okay? When you have an, or if you have a good partnership with a broker, as you can tell right now, I ain't partnered with no broker. Maybe we're going to, obviously, we're launching Willis Capital soon. For those guys who don't know, Willis Capital is going to be one of the biggest prop firms in the world. I'm obviously going to come into that space and I'm going to change the prop firm game. Now we want, my es the essence for Willis Capital is not to feed off of people's subscription money. No. I actually want, it is more profitable for us to have traders who are successful because if we have successful traders we can obviously we can fund more money i can reach out to my investors get more funding and obviously delegate to more traders to me the more money they make we do a 50 50 split or i invest my own money and do it it makes it it makes more sense for us to have more profitable traders on our platform anyway so that's by the way with this capital is coming i'm not going to say too much about it because most of these profits out there always watch my videos and then they take the ideas and then they go implement it. Willis Capital is dropping soon. Anticipated, watch out for it. I'm coming to that space and I'm going to change the game as well. Back to what I was saying. If you have a good partnership with a broker, you can speak to them and they can manipulate the back end for you easily. So when I see people go crazy about live redraws or people are posting live, live accounts, I don't believe it anymore. I, I never believed it probably for the past eight years of my trading career because I've also worked for a broker brokerage firm as well when I used to live in London, yes. And I've worked the I've worked at the back end, I've seen how things work. So number one, guys, the cars, the fancy stuff, the screenshot. Um, if you still want to believe in it, I know people, the truth is people need something to believe in i understand that it's just the way the human mind works it's just like religion people always want to believe in something bigger than them it's fine i'm a christian i believe in jesus christ do you get what i mean so people same thing with fx people always want to believe in something that's bigger than them they want to believe that this so-called person who they're following on social media is actually living the life or actually making those withdrawals but i just want to say something here if you have an MT4 back end, you can post live withdrawals of whatever amount you want of $5 billion. So guys, please don't take that thing for gospel. Haven't you noticed that you can see somebody do a live trading session or you can see somebody post. I've seen, now this is when I was obviously a beginner in the game. I be, guys. I was in your show. I believed everything. I believe this is why I try as much as possible not to post cars on my Forex YouTube channel because I'm not trying to lead people astray. I lead with education because this is the only way I can impact the industry. This is the only way I can impact you. People have only ever seen. I've only ever posted a car once on my YouTube channel, and we have 100k subs. So I would always try and lead with education. That's exactly why I'm doing this. Don't believe everything hook, line, and sinker because, like I said, I was once in your shoes as well. I will see these mentors post, they will post screenshots. I will take the same trades. How is it that you're profitable on trades that I've placed and I'm not profitable? I'm taking losses and you're winning? How? Some, something is not right. The MT4 back end is being manipulated. It's so simple. It costs 15000 Guys, like I said, I've been in this industry for a long time. Now, I don't want to get into the nitty-gritties of how they do the MT4, the back end, and every other thing around it. Um, I'm going to do a special video for that. I'm going to drop that bombshell um, much, much later on. If I feel like things are getting out of hand, I would definitely drop it. But my friends have told me, you know, that's it. Don't do it. You might crash the industry and stuff. So I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave that aside. But trust me. Dapo Willis, send this to your influencer and let them understand that Dapo Willis, when I see your shit, 
I know what exactly is going on. You can fool everybody. You can't fool me, bro. Come, let's see charts. Lead us with the charts. Give us, tell us it's exactly what's happening. Blase, blase. Stop leading people astray. That's absolutely wrong. That's one thing I wanted to speak about. Second thing I wanted to speak about is what seems to be the whole fanciful lifestyle. I, like, I have nothing against that. I live a very fancy lifestyle as well, but I also wanted to come on here and educate you guys. As you can see, I take my fancy life, I've moved my fancy life to another channel. It's a different channel where I can talk about my life and all that. I don't put it on here because I do not want to confuse you guys. Once again, I know you guys want to believe that. Trust me, guys, Forex is very profitable. It's very lucrative. But before you can get to that point of profitability or if, before you can get to that point where you're making a lot of money, you need to get rid of this get-rich-quick mindset. If you keep following these fake MT4 live withdrawals that these people are posting or these fake screenshots or these fake cars that they probably paid half half paying instrumental payments for guys you will never get to that point once again this channel is called learn forex with dr willis i'm here to educate now this is one side of things open your eyes use your head open your eyes and use your what use your head that's exactly what i wanted to say now enough about all of that we've spoken about the truth behind the forex market and everything that's going on let's go over to how you can make the forex market work for you now <sighs> Two things I want to share with you guys. Um, the first one is this. You see, whenever it is you do your analysis. Now, I want to believe that most of you who are watching this are Forex Mastery students um, and obviously on the Forex Mastery program. Now, whenever it is you do your analysis, actually two things I want to speak, speak about. Um, levels and market manipulation. Okay. Whenever it is you do, you, you map out your level. Okay, let's speak about market manipulation first. You see, the way the game works is the people who move the market are very aware because they can see the back end and they can see where all the stop losses are and where all the take profit levels are. Now, this is a hack I want to teach you guys. They can see where all the levels are. Now, the reason why I'm so, so profitable is because I understand that they can see where all the orders are, right? And most of the time, I, I would prefer for the market to go and hit a particular level, run stop losses. So, for example, most people like to buy off support and they like to trade off resistance, right? I would like a situation whereby the market hits my resistance level, um, breaks it, bridges the resistance level, takes out stop losses, and then starts coming down. That is exactly when I want to be jumping into the trade. It's a classic case of market manipulation. Always watch out for these levels because this is another trick behind the game that they use to knock most newbies out, most knock most people who are not aware of what exactly is going on behind the game. So number one thing is market manipulation. The second thing that has really, 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 really helped me in this game, and I feel like this is the reason why I make so much money in the game, is what they call pattern recognition. You see, for every time you get into a trade, try as much as possible to journal your trade. Take a screenshot of it. You'll hear me come on my YouTube channel and say stuff like, I've seen this happen before, so it's most likely going to stop me out. I'm not going to take the trade. For once again, for those of you guys who want to understand more about market manipulation and pattern recognition, it, the, the, I teach it on the Forex Mastery program. The link is in the description, as always, around here. Get it. Get the Forex Mastery. It is cheaper for you to get the Forex Mastery program than to keep pissing your money down the drain. Number one thing, understanding market manipulation zone. Number two thing is pattern recognition. Now, on the Forex Mastery program, you always hear me say stuff like, Okay, um, this is a profitable pattern because the market repeats itself. You see patterns forming over and over and over and over and over again. And you can almost tell if you've traded them long enough, you can almost decipher which is a profitable pattern and which is a pattern that is most likely going to run your stops. Just recently, um, most people were trying to buy GBP USD and Euro USD. And I said to them, I'm like, I've seen this pattern form before. It, is, it looks too premature. So most people are jumping into premature entries and stuff like that. I didn't get into the trade. Obviously, your favorite influencers were saying buy Euro USD. The market went, triggered everybody's entry for a buy, and then dropped and stopped everybody out. 
Guys, a very key thing to this is what they call pattern recognition. Once again, I teach it on the Forex Mastery Program. The link is in the description as always or around here somewhere. So the very first thing is you need to have a very good understanding of market manipulation. The second thing you need to understand is what they call pattern. Guys, guys I think like this is single, this is this is by far the most important aspect of everything I started, everything I've been talking about since this video started. Pattern recognition. Your ability to look at a pattern and be like, I know this guy, I've seen you before. But that only comes from a certain level of experience or a certain level of studying. Do you get what I mean? Like, guys, think about it. Like, this is the market moves based on mass human psychology. Things repeat themselves over and over and over and over and over again. Now, you're probably saying to yourself, I'm a newbie. I've been doing this one year, one and a half years. I'm not sure how I can obviously have that experience. That's why Dr. Willis compressed. I compressed 10 years worth of trading experience, put it together in the program, and created it as the Forex Mastery program, which I've been telling you to get in the beginning of the video. But maybe just now you're going to go ahead and get it. Pattern recognition. Pattern recognition will save you a lot of money. Pattern, pattern recognition will make you a lot of money. Because just by looking at this, I'm like, ah, I'm not interested. Or like, mm, this pattern, anytime it forms on gold, it always, always works. And last but not the least, another way, and I'm not going to talk about risk management or any of that, maybe in another video. I'm just talking about true shit. Because to be honest, like, think about it. If my trades are always right, if my strike rate is high, I can risk 30% of my account. I'm still going to make money. If I'm always correct, so it's not if we're being honest, it's not really about risk management, it's about are you right or are you wrong? <laughs> it's about are you right or are you wrong? Are you right or are you wrong? Anyways, that's by the way. So, back to what I was saying, the last thing I wanted to speak about is I noticed that when traders do their analysis, um, and the market doesn't just align with how they want it to align, they tend to delete delete their, their their levels delete their chart no nah. recently um rather but since the beginning of the year about feb january february i did an analysis on aud usd now aud usd started going in my favor after a while the market started acting up and it started to retrace now i left my levels as they were the market played around played around the levels blah blah if you go check aud usd you see check my old videos you see but guys, for the fact that I left those levels there, you literally see the market respect those levels at certain points and blah, 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 blah. Those levels gave me a guide because I said to myself, as long as AUDUSD is trading below this support region, or rather this resistance region, in a downtrend, we're bearish. The market can be going up. I don't care. As long as we, and you literally see the market go hit the level, break the level, Trade above the level for a bit, but you'll come back down below the level and close. It will try it again. You come. Once I saw that, I'm like, ah, this market is just weeding out stop losses. This level is the guy. And guess what? We came back down below, closed back down below it again. And I jumped into the trade and the market continued to head lower. So what's the moral of the story? Leave your damn levels the way you are. Once again, you want to learn how to plot your levels the right way without any indicator or any bloody signals or anybody shouting buy, sell and posting stuff in Telegram groups. Get the Forex Mastery program. There's a module there that talks about your key levels are very 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 crucial now, i'm thinking is there any other thing that i left out now guys once again i'm not here to scare you guys or anything i'm just i just thought about this whole thing and i just said to myself i'm just sick and tired of seeing people peddling forex the wrong way because a lot of people are losing money that's the truth and i would like to see and i would like to see more profitable traders you know at least in my lifetime because once again i was a victim of all the flashy stuff and everything you know so i feel like it's my responsibility trust me guys you think i've dropped a bombshell i haven't even dropped any bombshell if i really wanted to do a video about the truth behind forex trading like the true true truth yeah yeah most of your influencers and mentors are going to go out of business i'm not here to do that i'm not here to tarnish anybody's image i just want you guys to be more vigilant all these things i've explained to you is very important Number one thing, pattern recognition. Also, what I'm going to do is on the Forex Mastery program, we're going to create a, a section of the portal whereby you can upload your, your trades, meaning that if you get into a trade, take a screenshot of your setup and you can upload it there, right? Whether it's a profitable setup, is not a profitable setup. After six months, 
when you go back and review it, you'll be like, oh, I was so stupid. Why did I get into this trade? Oh, so that when those patterns are for guys, pattern recognition is so, so key. Oh my God, I hope this thing hasn't gone off. Pattern recognition is so, so key. Do you get what I mean? So we're going to create a portal for every single student to have access to their own portal. Um, that, that, that Their own, rather, on the portal where every student has access to. You see where you can upload your trades. It's called journaling your trades. I don't want to use journaling because it's boring. Like, who wants to journal their trades? But forget about journaling. Let us say we're just taking, we're keeping evidence. Because you need, Burner Boy says you need evidence. So, and that's what really helps me because I have a folder whereby I have all my screenshots. So I have, and then I look back, I'm, and especially when a trade stops me out, I'm like, and this is why I'm really good because I do a lot of reviewing and stuff like that. Most traders don't do that. Um, so I go back and I check, I'm like, okay, this trade has stopped me out, why? So I look at the setup. So if that setup forms again, I'm like, I'm out of here. Once again, my name is Dapo Willis, guys. I love you very much. Ensure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and I'll catch you guys in my subsequent videos. Three things I want to say before I go. Number one, if you haven't grabbed the Forex Mastery Program, ensure to do it. Everything I taught you guys today is in there. Teach you how us. Good. Second thing is Willis Capital is dropping very soon. Um, this video goes out today, Saturday. Um, Willis Capital is dropping seven weeks from now. Like I said, we're changing the space. Okay, we're changing the space. Um, we're going to have very, very flexible rules. Um, I'm going to build Willis Capital in such a way whereby um, we're going to have more traders passing. And I'm going to build Willis Capital in such a way whereby I wish you understand. Because at the end of the day, I'm a trader. I'm not just here to rip people off. Most people out there building prop firms are all marketers. Marketers! Here to market products. I notice people that own these prop firms, even, they're not even traders. <laughs> they don't even trade as I'm telling you. So this is going to be a prop firm built by a trader. Prop firm built for traders, okay? And last but not the least, ensure to subscribe to the channel. Um, just wanted to come on here and just rant a little bit. So I'm just upset when I keep seeing these little kids posting what seems to be live accounts, but it's not really live accounts. Guys, we know the scope. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'll catch you later. Love you very much. Take it easy. Um, peace out.